everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm Rory and this is Coffee and Crafts. I do have a little bit of coffee, um, but we're going to be here for crafts. So I'm doing a requested video about this little gadget. And <laughs> it's so funny. In one of my last videos, it was sitting up here on my desk and I never said anything about it. And someone noticed it and was like, do you know how to use that? Because I have one and I'm struggling and I don't know how to use it. Um, can you help those of us who are failing at using it? And I was like, of course. So um, I went to try and use this and realized it was dull. So because I was a dummy and used it on a glass mat, do not use these on glass mats. This is called a gyro cut. And as you can see, let me take the tip off. Um, it has this little blade. I'll see if you can see it. And it turns 360 degrees either direction. And uh, yeah, you don't want to use it on a glass mat. You want to use it on a cutting mat, one of these self-healing cutting mats. And um, you basically hold it like a pen, like you would. And uh, you, you only use that little tip. And you see how it's like at an angle? It's dirty. Um, this little tip right here, the far the far down side, is the only thing you're really using, okay? Because when you turn it 90 degrees and you're holding it 90 degrees, that's the only thing that should be cutting. So make sure you have a self-healing cutting mat to use this on. Um, this is just a little teeny weeny one, but I, I have bigger. Um, I just don't have it here. <laughs> it's over on my other desk. So today, what I thought is I'm going to not use this one. We are going to use da -da -da -da, the new one I bought because I wanted to make sure that it actually cut. So I will be leaving the link for this below. It's also on the other video as well. Um, if I can get it out of the bag. There we go. Um, this thing does cut multiple different types of, not just paper, it, it'll cut cards, it does decoupage, stencil making, which is what I plan on using this also for, um, scrapbooking, freehand design, um, model graphics and decals, masking, all that type of stuff. It cuts, it does cut. Um, this one, this is all comes in, this is it. You can get these, I don't know if they're gyro cuts per se, but they're similar where you can get it with a, a cutting mat and more tips and all that kind of stuff. Um, this one, it's like I said, this is the same exact one that I bought before. So I bought it again. So let me get to showing you how it works and how I use it anyway. I bought it specifically to cut out stickers. Um, let's see, let's try something kind of big first. Uh, let's see. Put that up there. Um, like I said, you have to have your uh, self cutting, uh, self healing cutting mat. Um, now this little one's kind of nice because I can turn it, and it's not going to come off the mat. If you have one that's bigger, it's not a big deal. You'll just turn the paper. But um, uh, or you don't have to turn the paper. Let's see, which one do I want to do? Let's, let's do this one. And I'm going to leave it on the paper. I'm not going to cut this out and then cut it out. It's actually a little nicer to have something to kind of grip a hold of. So you take this little cap off, revealing your blade. You're going to hold it like a pen and hold it so that this part, this part here, is at a 90 degree angle to your desk. So this handle parts kind of coming out at kind of a 70 degree angle. So you're going to place, I'm just going to, I'm not going to really fussy cut. It's going to be more of a kiss cut. So I'm a little bit outwards away and you're going to push away from you. Holding the part you've already cut away so it doesn't bunch up. And 
and it's kind of like writing with a pen. And if you, if you hear a little dog barking, that would be my sister's poodle, Gabby. She's 18 years old. All right. And there we go. That is how this is used. Isn't that cute? That came out really good. Now, mind you, if you wanted to, you could get closer. You could get right up along to the side of the picture if you, you know, if you wanted to. But what's nice about this, and I hear you, young lady. Did I ask you to bark? No. You see these little bits in between? You can. Lucille. You can cut those out as well. Which is nice because you don't have to like cut a hole and then use scissors to get in there. You just make sure you put that little tip down. Lucy, shush. And These, they are sharp, but I've never found it where it's so sharp it's going to cut your skin. So it's kind of interesting that way. My ring is upside down. So that is how that is done. Lucy, shush. So there we have a very nice little sticker if we wanted to use that as a sticker or, you know, a, you know, ephemera on front of a pocket or something like that. So, <clears throat> like I said, I originally bought this to cut out stickers because... I have no room for a cricket in my life. One, they're expensive. And two, I just don't have the room. I really don't. I, I'm out of room. Especially for something that large that takes up electricity and space for the pad and all that. Uh, mm -mm. And who's got $400? <laughs> Let's be honest. So um, I was looking for cutters that I could use. And this is simple and it doesn't... And with my hands, trust me, I, I need something that's going to actually do the job and I don't have to super press hard or anything like that. Now this is kind of thin paper. This isn't even a thick card stock. It's a, it's a nice, you know, kind of a, you know, just regular paper and uh, it works very, very well. So what else can we cut out? Um, let's pick another picture. And let's say we want to just do, because you can do like straight lines with it as well. Um, I've never done that before, but uh, we can do even smaller. And let me just show you this. And you just Snip away. Ta da! You don't have to uh, worry about being exact, but it does do a decent circle, so you could use that as well. But let's say you didn't like that and you wanted to fussy cut it more. You're just going to hold your fingers down and do the same thing as before. Always holding the parts that have been cut. like that and take that little piece off right there and there we go awesome huh see the little mushrooms pretty cool huh so now we've got mushrooms to play with and uh they've been neatly kiss cut that's the beauty of this wonderful little gyro cut I will be leaving a link to this particular one 
in my uh, in the description box below. So if you want to pick yourself up one, they are an, on Amazon. Blah, 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 blah. I don't get any kind of uh, residual income from this or anything like that. I'm just bringing you cool tools to use in your journal journeys. So uh, yeah, if you found a picture, you really liked it, and you don't want to have to fussy cut and all that, um, this is, or if you don't have a Cricut, let's say, um, this is the way to go. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. And uh, I always make sure I put this little cat back on just so it doesn't get dull. And like I said, pick yourself up a little, little cutting mat here so that you have something to cut on. So there we go. And uh, I will see y'all in my next video. Sure to love you bunches. Bye.